in this short video i want to show you how you can get chat gpt4 features for free for those that don't know what chat gpt4 is chat gpt4 is the upgraded version of chat gpt 3.5 and chat gpt 3.5 has its latest information dated back to 2022 so anytime you search anything using chat gpt 3.5 you are going to get information based on things that happened from 2022 below it does not have any information from 2023 to date so the next time you search anything using chat gpt 3.5 just know that you are not getting updated information you are getting information based on things that happen from 2022 and below and if you want to subscribe to chat gpt 4 you need to pay 20 dollars every month if you are going to be using open ai but today i'm going to show you another app that is a writer assistant and you can get all chat gpt4 features for absolutely free i'm also going to show you how to confirm that the information it gives you a hundred percent updated and you can use them perfectly without wasting much time let's get right into the video now let me first show you or well, let me first prove to you that ChatGPT does not have any information from 2022 to date. Let's head straight to ChatGPT. Now let me ask ChatGPT about something that happened between 2022 and now. When did Mobad die? As you can see, ChatGPT 3.5 has responded and it says, There is no information suggesting that Mobad has passed away. He is an active Nigerian musician as of my last update in January 2022. As you can see now, it shows that the only thing this chat GPT 3.5 understands are information about things that happened from 2022 down. But everything that happened between 2022 till now, it does not have information about it. And if you want to get information about it, you have to start paying $20 every month. Let me ask another question again to prove this point. Minor Pope died a few weeks ago. Now let's see if ChatGPT 3.5 has information about Junior Pope and his death. When did Junior Pope die? As you can see again, it has responded. There is no information suggesting that Junior Pope has passed away. He's an actor in the Nigerian entertainment industry. And as of my last update in January 2022, he was alive now you see that this chat gpt 3.5 is not updated if you've been using it to write books that requires updated information i can categorically tell you now that you've been writing or you've been putting wrong content inside that book if you are writing trends for example or you are writing travel guides there are a lot of things that you can be putting or you might be putting inside your book that would not be updated for example, a particular museum has been under renovation since 2022. Some time ago, when I was making research about a Dubai travel guide, I saw a negative review when somebody said he got this travel guide and then when he got to Dubai, he found out that since 2020, sorry, since 2020, after COVID, this particular museum has been under construction or under renovation but that was not updated in a book that was released in 2023 this is because this person probably used information from chat gpt 3.5 but if you're using information from chat gpt 4 you probably might get updated information that the museum has been under construction since 2020 i hope this is clear now let me take you straight to the app that is going to give you updated information and i urge you to start using it to write all your books as from now although it is not entirely free you only have one month free trial according to what i read online recently that the company which is microsoft is trying to limit the free trial for chat gpt4 to just 30 days this means that for every time you want to continue using it you have to make payments or you use another email which is a fresh email to register a new account since that haven't taken effect you can keep enjoying it while it lasts however chat gpt 3.5 is not entirely useless 
in fact the app is still performing magic and i'm going to show you some magical elements of the chat gpt 3.5 such that you can be using it with this app i want to show you today to get quality and unique content for your books the first thing you want to do is to go to your play store or your apple store depending on the phone you are using of course you know that apple store is for iphone users while play store is for android users so if you go to your app store you will search copilot but if you are using a laptop you just go to your browser and you search microsoft copilot let's try that as you can see this is my chrome browser and i just search microsoft copilot then you hit the search button it will load like this and then the first one that says copilot.microsoft.com is the one you will click on this is when you are using a laptop and then it will bring you to this interface all you need to do is to register and then get started using the app you can also download the app on your laptop by simply clicking the download icon on this website or just search directly through google microsoft copilot free download and you will see the application then download it after downloading just register like you're registering on a normal website and you are good to go if you are using a smartphone like me just go to your app store and search copilot once you hit the search bar you will see it microsoft copilot with this exact icon make sure you download the correct one it is showing open because i already have it downloaded in your case if you don't have it it will be showing you download or install now let's open the app after downloading it will require you to sign up if you don't have an account all you need to do the same way you signed up on chat gpt 3.5 by open ai you just sign up here like that you will see the sign up icon just click on it put your email and password and you are good to go now after signing up this is the interface you get as you can see it says copilot your everyday ai companion and if you look at the bottom side here you will see use gpt4 can you see all you need to do is to put it on by clicking on it as you can see i just did i just clicked on it and it has shown me a check mark meaning i have activated gpt4 now let me ask the same question i asked gpt3 to see if copilot will have updated information when did mobile die the only disadvantage i see with copilot is that it's a little bit slow in giving response unlike chat gpt where it gives response almost immediately as you can see mobad the nigerian rapper singer and songwriter typically passed away on tuesday september 12 2023 in lagos at the age of 27 his death was attributed to an ear infection the nurse who administered a tetanus vaccine to him was later found to be an unlicensed nurse and was arrested by the lagos state police command now you see that this information is updated copilot has updated information unlike chat gpt 3.5 let me ask the second question i asked chat gpt 3.5 about junior pope when did junior pope die as you can see copilot also have information about junior pope who died barely two to three weeks ago junior pope whose real name was john paul obuneme i'm sorry i can't pronounce that was a talented nigerian actor and film producer he left us tragically on april 10th 2024 at the age of 42. his untimely passing occurred in asaba delta state nigeria during a film shoot when the boat he was on capsized in the river niger in anambra state can you see that this information is updated copilot even gave us the picture of junior pope and one good thing about copilot is that it will reference where it got the information from as you can see it got this information from wikipedia vanguard and three other websites this is why you should start using copilot to write your books as fast as you can because it has updated information i want to take it a step further to check plagiarism and tell you how you can get the magical features of 
chat gpt 3.5 i don't want this video to be too long so i'm not going in depth into prompt engineering if you want to learn prompt engineering i recommend that you watch this video that says prompt engineering made easy for content writers and publishers this video is going to teach you how to start prompting ai the right way to get the best information out of it so i said to co-pilot i'm writing a book titled procrastination management for teens the book explains key points on how teens and young adults can manage their time and do things at the right time i need a five chapter table of contents with three sub chapters each make it detailed and emotional as the book will be read by humans then i click enter as you can see it has started creating a detailed table of contents for me Chapter 1, Understanding Procrastination. The subchapter, The Procrastination Puzzle, Exploring Why We Delay. Mind Over Matter, The Psychology Behind Procrastination. Personal Stories, Real Life Teen Struggles with Putting Things Off. See, with what I just read, I'm tempted to write this book. This table of content looks very sweet. It gives me all the chapters well detailed with three sub chapters each as you can see copilot is another game changer i want to go further by telling it to write an introduction about the chapter one which is understanding procrastination so i said write a detailed introduction about chapter one above understanding procrastination remember to add emotions and real life situations as you can see introduction to chapter one understanding procrastination procrastination is not just a habit it's an emotional journey that many things navigate daily it's the silent battle between intention and inaction i mean this is so sweet you can see that you cannot know there's no way you can tell me that this was written by an ai this does not sound like it was written by a machine it sounds like it was written by a human i'll urge you again start using copilot to write your books copilot with chat gpt4 seems well detailed with human feel now let me copy a section of this and then we're going to check plagiarism i've highlighted the first two paragraphs and i'll just hit copy let me go and check plagiarism this is our free plagiarism checker duplichecker.com all you need to do is to paste the content you just copied scroll down a little and click i am not a robot then you click check plagiarism as you can see it's checking plagiarism it's 43 percent done it will count to 100 percent and it will give us the result and tell us the percentage of this content that is plagiarized as you can see it is telling us that it is zero percent plagiarized this content is 100 percent unique but because of the new updates on amazon I would advise you not to use this context exactly the way it is. All you need to do now is to go to ChatGPT and tell ChatGPT to rewrite the content that Copilot gave you. So I prompt ChatGPT by saying, rewrite the following content. Make it more detailed and use relatable words with strong emotions because it will be read by humans. Then I paste the content I just copied. As you can see, ChatGPT has done its own magic. Let's compare. Copilot says, Procrastination is not just a habit. It's an emotional journey that many things navigate daily. Let's see what ChatGPT says. It says, Procrastination isn't just a mere habit. It's an intricate emotional journey that countless things navigate daily. Like a roller coaster of intentions and inactions. So as you can see, it has started changing some things. Now, in this way, you are likely going to have your content sounding like human rather than like an AI. So, this is how you keep writing your books. Now, I will still advise you not to copy and paste. When you copy this now, you take it to your processor, maybe your Google Docs or your Microsoft Word. Read through it and change one or two things. I'm not going to go into details here. I'm only going to explain that in my mentorship group change some content in a book to make it sound 100 human and it will pass amazon kdp review 
there is another ai that does the humanizing and rewriting better than chat gpt 3.5 but i'm sorry i'm also not going to expose that here it is for my mentorship students i'm sorry they paid for it so they should get it if you watch this video to the end i want to say congratulations because i know that you've learned something new today which is going to change your entire writing game but before i go i want to show you that Copilot can also write recipes very well. Let's quickly go back to Copilot. So I said, write three plant-based diabetes diet recipes for newly diagnosed with ingredients, methods, cooking time, and nutritional information. Copilot is doing its magic. The first one, lemon raspberry chia seed pudding. As you can see, detailed ingredients, detailed instructions, cooking time, nutritional information. Number two, millet three color bell pepper bowl. Number three, sweet potato black bean burgers. If you are conversant with Chat GPT 3.5, you would know that these recipes are totally different from the type of recipes that Chat GPT provides. So, this is another proof and another reason why you should be using Copilot to write your books or other content henceforth simply because it has updated information and it's going to give you up to date details for your book this is going to make buyers enjoy reading your book and give you positive reviews as you can see it has also told us where it's got the contents from eatingwell.com diabetes.org masteringdiabetes.org and another site now that you've learned something new today please like the video hit the red subscribe button and turn on post notifications because i'll be posting more awesome videos back to back on this channel you know my updates are always up to date by liking the video you are telling youtube that this video is good and it is valuable so youtube will show it to more people that will be interested in writing books or starting their amazon kdp journey or publishing journey generally Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you in the next video.